Hello guys, welcome back, and in today's video we're going to talk about Horrorpedia, which is one of the new, the two new 5-star characters coming in 1.2. This, in this case, is coming in the Phase 2 inside the Changeling banner, and is uh, a Flatus mineral, mental damage, and he wants to do a little bit of a setup as well, but it's a really good DPS if you don't have anyone to cover the mineral element, okay? It's also a pretty flexible unit, and we'll check in a second why. First of all, let's go and analyze his kit. His uh, ult, Twin Strickery, is a mass attack dealing 300% mental damage to all enemies and inflicts one layer of fear. Now, what is one layer of fear? It's mental damage taken plus 25%, and you reduce the stack by attacking him so if you don't attack him it's not like it's gonna fall off it's gonna stay there until you attack the enemy okay so that's good and it's plus 25 percent mental damage taken that said let's move on on dictated by logic which is his uh debuff card dispel card actually but it becomes a dispel at level two a level one is just a one target attack dealing 200 percent and then it becomes 250 and 450 and on level three is pretty high and you also dispel all status up and all positive status on the monster that you attacked okay on the third uh scale snooker shoot it's gonna be a one target attack still so it's not a, it's not it doesn't like to do many aoe besides the ult aoe it's a one target attack dealing 160 percent mental damage 240 or 400% at level 3, and if they don't have any buffs on them or any stats up or positive status, which they won't they won't have if you did the dictated by logic first, you also deal an additional 60% mental damage or 90 or 150 depending on the level. Now, on top of that, let's if we go check the the insight one, two, and three, we're gonna discover that when on insight one, when the caster uses dictated by logic level two or higher, he also dispels or counters. So that's even better. It's an even better uh, dispel on his uh, his card. On insight two is a little a little underwhelming because I was hoping to be a little more damage dealt, but instead it's damage taken by eight percent. It reduces damage taken by 8% on the inside 2. Inside 3 is when he gets a little bit of damage, which is uh, because inside 3 gives you a mechanic that makes you do more damage by 20% if you're using a level 2 or higher skill, which means that you want to do a little bit of a setup to then follow up with a big hit on the snooker shoot, right? Because like if they're, they're also dispelled or they don't have happen to have no buffs, you also do the extra damage that it tells you that, that it does, right? So, you want to set up a little bit, you want to do maybe the ult, apply the fear stack, and then do the snooker shoot while keeping in mind that it's, it needs to be level 2, and then they have to be dispelled or not having any buff. So in that case, you can do 150% more up to 150% more mental damage, which makes him do a decent amount of damage, okay? So... You can use him as a DPS, but you can also use him as um as a crit, uh, not as a crit, but as a support because he applies the the fear on the enemies. It's a mass attack, so he applies on everybody. On top of that, you also dispel status up and positive status, and you can also keep him on inside two if you don't want to use him as a DPS, and you will still be getting because it's in the inside one. You will still be getting the dispel counter so it's easy to, to get a character inside one and so you will most likely have him going around in your combat with a complete dispel power right so that said let's go check on his portrait a, a little bit and check what they do they basically do the usual stuff but the the bigger the bigger one is on p5 which gives you one more uh, layer of fear so when you do the alt instead of applying one layer on everybody you're gonna apply two layers on everybody so it's inherently higher damage dealt by the team itself if you're not playing him as a dps so that's pretty good but it's uh, keep in mind that it's a five star so trying to fish for a five star as a free to play it's not recommended i uh, please don't do that if you're a free to play if you're a spender go for it if you like him uh, but if you are not a spender please refrain from doing so unless you get very very lucky just by organically pulling for changeling you will be uh, getting more and more and more copies until p5 that's fine but don't do it on purpose because it's very scary uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to try and get a, a five five six copies in total if you don't have the characters for his uh for this level one additional layer okay the rest of the portrait is the usual stats up so nothing crazy you get like 100% total of more mental damage on your ult, and you get 50% and 100% uh, more on Dictated Biologic and Snooker Shoot. 
So nothing insane. You just have the usual stuff. That said, let's touch a little bit on the on the side tube. The side tube is the usual stuff. You can do hopscotch. You can do brave new world. Or if you don't, if you're not using him as a as a main DPS, you can use you can use her second life as well. So you can do some healing since his ult is mass. So it's gonna trigger the the the, the power up of the the power of sec her second life. Or you can use as a Pridwin says his bounden duty. But his bounden duty basically goes for everybody. Yeah? Okay, so it's not like oh an Oropedia side tube. It just goes for everybody. It's just uh, another approach if you really want or maybe like you you're a little bit squishy you're using him as a main dps maybe you don't have many healers or maybe your healer is like balloon party or something or or so to be for whatever reason right in that case maybe you need a little more of survivability and you could do a bound and duty which is still good because it also gives you a lot of damage like the the the, uh, the attack rate on uh, the bound and duty is like one of the highest if not the highest or yeah, it's not the highest like attack, like 380, which is pretty high. So it's gonna help you getting a little more of damage. But Brave New World, I think, is where it's at. Again, because the you can set it up. If you like setting up, you can use Brave New World for the you do the ult, and then you get the power from Brave New World that makes your incantation do 20% more damage, the, the follow-up incantation, which is what you want to do. Because if you have a level two incantation, now you want to do the the I3 get to plus 20 percent you have a level two snooker shoot or level three let's say you have a level three you're gonna do 20 percent more damage from your your jump scare inside and then you're gonna do more damage 16 to 20 to 40 percent more damage on uh, from brave new world on the next incantation and then you're gonna do 400 percent mental damage and if they and if they don't have any buffs you're gonna do a total of 550 percent mental damage at p0 which is a big for which is a big setup, right? So it's a, I feel like it's the best option, it's the most fun option. But you could also use Opscotch uh, because of the uh, because of the baseline increase in your, which is going to be sixteen percent on your any <clears throat> any incantation. Okay, so I don't think there is anything else that I can say. Let me know if I forgot something or if I'm glossing over some. Some information that you want me to cover, in that, or I forgot something, or so you have something to say. Are you gonna pull for Horopedia? Are you gonna build them? Uh, I think it's worth if you don't have any other men, uh, mineral Aflatos coverage. It's a really good option. He also has dispel, so it's really it's a really useful characters. He has a mass fear. So let me know what you think about the character. Leave a like if you like the video. Go follow my Twitch and twitch.tv forward slash Jagazin. And uh, follow the channel if you would like more videos about Reverse 1999 or maybe all the games. I don't know what you're here for. <laughs> so thank you for watching and see you next time. Downpour and thick clouds. We are trapped in this haunted castle. Suddenly, someone knocks at the door. Knock, knock.